The Ukrainian military command began suicidal attempts to cross the Dnieper and land troops on territory controlled by Russia. On January 24th at 5 a.m., Ukrainian militants on five boats tried to attack Russian positions near the village of Korsunka, located west of Novaya Kakhovka in the Kherson region. The main intelligence directorate of Ukraine proudly showed some footage of the operation, stating that as a result of a successful operation, the command post of Russian troops was destroyed. According to Ukrainian intelligence officers, the Russian command immediately sent in combat reserves, including special operations forces, aircraft, and armored vehicles, but could not stop several Ukrainian boats. However, Ukrainian intelligence did not show the work of Russian units in its video. Russian military sources immediately denied these reports from the Ukrainian side. It turned out that three Ukrainian boats were sunk while still in the water. Ukrainian forces that landed on the eastern shore were almost completely destroyed. A shooting battle broke out. The Ukrainian military came under MLRS fire and returned to the West Bank with losses. The facility, which was declared by Ukrainian propaganda to be a command post, turned out to be a shed at the boat station. This building was not usable by the Russian command, as it's under direct fire from the enemy sitting across the river. In response to the attempted attack, the Russian forces hit Ukrainian manpower and armored vehicles deployed on the western bank with artillery and TOS 1A Solnitsepek heavy flamethrower systems. According to Russian Emergency Service of the Kherson region, Ukrainian units became more active on the western bank of the Dnieper near the villages of Korsunka and Nepryani, where Russian units discovered an accumulation of armored vehicles and manpower. Ukrainian reserves were hit by Russian artillery. As a result, three boats, six infantry fighting vehicles, and about 100 Ukrainian soldiers were reportedly destroyed. The acting governor of the Kherson region, which has recently become part of Russia, said that the Ukrainian military regularly attempts to force across the Dnieper, but the entire floodplain of the eastern bank is controlled by Russian forces. Early January, it was reported that the Ukrainian armed forces were again preparing an attack across the Dnieper in the area of the Kakhovsky Reservoir. That's why Ukrainian authorities closed the Kremenchug and Dnipro GES dams in the upper reaches of the river to lower the water.